Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply a vignette in Photoshop. Now a vignette is just some subtle shading around the corners of a photo that gradually fade inward. And there's actually more than one way to get that effect or look with Photoshop, but in this video I'm just going to show you my personal favorite method. So with the photo layer open, the first thing we're going to do is actually right click on our photo layer and make sure we convert it to a smart object. This just means that we can add smart filters on it or filters that we can go back and edit afterwards if we want to adjust them. So there's not actually a vignette filter, but if you go to filter lens correction, this opens up the lens correction menu, which lets you do all types of distortion editing and color fringe fixing. But there's also the vignetting box in this menu. So here's where you can darken up the edges to your liking. You could even lighten them up, but I typically always just use the darken side. And the midpoint is just how close to the center or opened up the shading is. So I don't want to go too crazy with it, but it's going to be different for each photo. In this case, this big neon sign is in the center, and I don't want to encroach on it too much. So use your eyes for your own photo and play around with the sliders to taste. I think that looks good. Now since we made it a smart filter, you can see I can always see what it looks like without it or double click on my layer to go back to the menu and adjust it afterwards. So it's really that simple. From here you can go on to add different adjustment layers and most color effects work well with vignettes because it just plays nicely off of that gradual dark to light color and it also frames most photos nicely. Now this isn't going to work well for every photo but hopefully you can now add vignetting as another tool and technique to try out in your photo editing arsenal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials to see it in combination with some other color effects. And definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.